Boy, Matt, you talk about an exogenous shock to an expected and predictable political debate. Boy, has it happened. What will change today in Washington after Boylston Street in Boston? Well, I think, as we've already seen over the weekend and different politicians that have been opposed to this changing immigration reform, they're using it as a way to not necessarily stop it, that's not what they're saying, but to slow it down. And I think by slowing it down, they know that it's going to prevent any real reform of immigration. I think what you'll see today is people try to calm everybody's nerves down, try to calm the situation down, try to say, really, these issues and this situation is totally disjointed from what immigration reform is. There really is no linkage between these two. But I think politicians you'll see today try to use it as a way to slow it down. But I think everybody just needs to calm down. Everybody just needs to settle into a place that immigration reform is really separate from what happened in Boston. You know, you look at these national tragedies, Matt Dow. Look at Newtown and what happened there. The nation distressed. You saw this everyone galvanized for gun reform. And then it completely collapsed in the Senate last week. What will the impact be on Boston? And is there any type of connection you can draw? Because they were immigrants, these suspects that we're talking about. Yeah, but they were legal immigrants, and they obviously their paperwork was in order. There was no problem with it. So it's not a situation where, oh, somebody got in here illegally, and what are we doing, and this is not what this is not working out right. So it is a separate issue. Though, again, I mean, what happened in, in, in Boston is going to politically affect what's going to happen today. But I think everybody's going to calm down. Everybody's going to try to say what they need to say. And I think we'll move on. There is too much consensus right now. Republicans know they have to do something on immigration reform. Otherwise, they're going to be a minority party for the next 25 or 30 years. They understand that politically, most of the people in the party. So I think each side knows something has to get done on immigration reform. It's a good point. There are a lot more factors going for immigration reform. It's been a bipartisan, bipartisan push. There's also not the NRA in the immigration debate. Who is pushing back against it right now? Well, I, I mean, I think you've seen a lot of groups. I mean, there's part of there's some, some of the very conservative groups that have felt like that border has never been secure, that it's never been done in a way that actually has worked. And so they're pushing back. There's a number of people around the country that are pushing back. But there is no real organized opposition with an entity spending a lot of money trying to prevent immigration reform. But just like gun control, what's driving the opposition is fear. There's a fear that if somehow we do something on immigration reform, it's going to set us up for a problem in the future. Future. Again, in the end, people can mm -hmm. calm down on this, disconnect this from Boston. It's no real connection from Boston. Right. But I think you have a consensus that's already together on this issue that I think is going to move it along. Matt Dowd, we saw the process of gun control with, I believe it was six disaffected Democrats, an X number of Republicans, et cetera. Does immigration, number wise, unit wise, in terms of vote count, will it play out the same way? You know, what's interesting about this, Tom, is, is actually the elements of gun control had more popular support than what immigration reform has. 85, 90 percent of the public was supportive of it, and the Senate couldn't do it. It's less support, but there's more support in the Senate right now because of the politics of it for immigration reform. I think you'll see almost right. every single Democrat vote for it, and I think you'll see a huge part of Republicans vote for it. I think in the end, when the reform bill comes up to vote, I think you're going to see overwhelming support from both sides on it.